Okay, don't forget to run your fan. I had someone else send me a little note about what kind of fan. You can just buy a Walmart fan. I think this one was like $39. Make sure it oscillates. It makes it easier. But you're still going to have to move it around if you have a small space like this. So that all the plants can get a good blowing <coughs> often. I had the fan over here earlier today. It was blowing this way. And now I have it inside. It's blowing the other way. So you see... As it blows the plants, it strengthens them, right? Because they're going to be out in the wind and they're going to be exposed to weather and bad weather and potential heat and all of that thing. And so you really want to strengthen your plant as much as you can. The fan is important. A lot of people don't do it. They kind of take the lazy route and just go ahead and plant it. And you could get lucky and put it behind a building and, and be fine. But I tell you, it makes a big difference. Look at this squash. It's actually a pumpkin, but it's a delicata. Broccoli. I just started transplanting the peppers, so I don't really have a whole lot of those to. I'm going to have uh, parsley and some more. I did. I bucketed those uh, this year, even though I usually see them straight the ground. There's parsley and basil down there. So, anyway, fan. Use a fan. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference.